Hey everyone, it's Amanda from Loops and Love Crochet and I'm working on this new cowl pattern here on the blog. You can find this pattern uh, free at loopsandlovecrochet.com. Um, this cowl pattern here uh, works up quite quickly, so it's quite a speedy project to work on and it has such a nice texture too. Uh, I'm working in super bulky weight yarn, so I'm using uh, Lion Brand uh, Hometown Yarn here and this is a bonus size um, ball of yarn here so um, you'll need three quarters of one of these to work up this cowl here um, otherwise if you have the smaller ones uh, you'll need two of those ones for this project here and as recommended by the yarn uh, I'm also using a nine millimeter crochet hook here too Okay, before we get started, let's look at this cowl a little bit closer here. Um, as you can see, it starts off with some single crochet stitches at the bottom, and then you have the two double crochet cluster stitches that make up the body of the cowl, and then it finishes off at the top with single crochet stitches here. Now, you can easily alter the size of this uh, cowl here if you want to make it longer. Uh, you can easily start with a longer foundation at the start of the pattern or a longer chain. And then if you'd like to make it taller, uh, you can also uh, just add more rounds of the double crochet, two double crochet clusters um, before you get to the top where you work the single crochet stitches. So this pattern is easily to adapt to whatever size of cowl that you'd prefer. And with the super bulky weight yarn, it's so nice and cozy and soft to wear here. All right, let's get started. Okay, to start this project, um, the pattern uh, calls for working uh, 54 foundation single crochet stitches. Um, I prefer to start projects like this with a foundation instead of a starting chain, um, but you can do either. Um, I prefer to use a foundation instead because it leaves kind of a nicer finished edge than working the chain and then single crocheting into the chain. Um, as well, uh, you can work the first row of the pattern and the chain at the same time when you work a chain a foundation instead of a starting chain. So I like that idea too. It's kind of like a two-in-one. Um, if you prefer, you can start off with a chain. Um, we're going to work 54 foundation single crochet stitches. However, if you're going to use a starting chain instead, um, you'll need to work uh, 55 chains and then you'll need to single crochet all the way back uh, in the second chain from the hook. But if you have never done a starting uh, foundation single crochet instead, um, I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook and then we're going to chain two here. Okay, so there's my chain two. And now I'm going to insert my hook in the furthest chain from me. So the second one from my hook here, the first chain, and I'm going to pull up a loop here. Now I'm going to yarn over. And I'm going to pull through just one of those loops and that's what creates my chain and then I'll finish the single crochet by yarning over and pulling through both the loops on my hook. So there's our first uh, foundation single crochet. Now to make the second one I'm going to go right uh, insert my hook right underneath um, the top of the stitch here. So where that V is made at the top of the stitch I'm going to insert my hook through there right in that space there pull up a loop so there's two loops on my hook I'm going to yarn over pull through one of those loops and then yarn over again and pull through both loops on my hook so there's two of our foundation uh, single crochet stitches and each time we go in we're going to go in right at the top here there's kind of a little gap where the stitch is and it makes that V at the top there so we'll insert our hook into our next stitch Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one of the loops, yarn over, pull through two of them. Now, if you'd like to see a closer video tutorial on the foundation single crochet stitch, um, I do have a video on my YouTube channel, which I will link in the pattern to just working a foundation single crochet. If you'd like to practice that a little bit more before you go into the rest of the pattern here. But we're going to just make, we're going to make 54 foundation single crochet stitches. So we're going to continue on all the way uh, to 54, making those foundation uh, single crochet stitches. And when you're done, it should be roughly 28 inches. So when you're done, you can measure that out. 
And if you're changing the size of the pattern, if you'd like to make a longer cowl, um, you need to start with a longer foundation or chain. Um, so you'll need to choose kind of how long you want to make it, uh, however many inches you'd like to make it, which is fine. Um, as long as your foundation or number of stitches is an even number um, after you're done, because you'll need that for your two double crochet clusters to work out. You'll need to have an even uh, stitch count. All right, I'm going to continue on making these 54 foundation single crochet stitches here. So here's our foundation so far. Um, and then I'll meet you back when we're all done that part. Okay, so I'm almost at the end of my foundation single crochet here. Uh, I just have two more left to do. So I'll just finish those last two here. And then I'm gonna show you how to join it together. So then we'll be working um, in the round. So there's my last stitch there my um, chain and first row of single crochet. So if you did a starting chain instead, um, you would have a chain of 55 and then you would be single crocheting all the way across. So you would have 54 single crochet stitches here. So now here, now that we're done here, we're gonna join this together. So we're gonna join our last stitch of our foundation single crochet to our first stitch here. So here I have the right side uh, facing me. Making sure that you don't twist the chain here. Uh, we're gonna join the last foundation stitch here with a slip stitch to the top of the first stitch here. So here's our last stitch here. Uh, when you're working the foundation, you're kind of working it upside down almost. So you kind of need to flip it up. You have your chain here. You can see you have your chain here on the bottom and then your stitches here um, on top. So without twisting our chain here, we're going to make it together into a circle. We're going to find the top of our first foundation single crochet here. Insert the crochet hook through the top of the stitch as you normally would. Just making sure your yarn is not going to be in the middle of your project here. There we go. And very important not to twist the chain here because if your chain is twisted you'll find out pretty quickly when you're working on your row of single crochet next um, and then you will have to pull it out and rejoin it again because you don't want to twist in your cowl it will be quite noticeable. So I'm just going to join here with a slip stitch. So now we're going to be working in the round here and there is a little gap at the bottom here um, you can either choose to sew this together now using your um, yarn needle uh, or you can sew it together later. Sometimes I just like to, I usually just leave it until the end, but I just kind of pull the tail through here. So it kind of closes the gap a little bit while I'm working on it. And then you can use your yarn needle to stitch that up later whenever you'd like. So now that it's joined, I'm going to chain one and then I'm just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So the top of each stitch all the way around. Um, since I have 54 foundation single crochet stitches, um, I should also have 54 single crochet stitches in this round of the pattern here. And notice how we're working in the round instead of in rows now. So when we get to the end, we're gonna join to the top of the first uh, single crochet with a slip stitch. So I'm gonna continue all the way around here. And when we get to the other end, um, I'll show you how to join that and start the first round of the two double crochet cluster stitches. Okay, so now we're all the way back at the other end here, um, all the way around. This is my last single crochet stitch of the round here. Um, and then I'm gonna join with a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet of the round here. So make that slip stitch, pull that nice and tight. All right, and now we have our first part of our cowl here. And it will kind of stretch out as you work on it here too. Okay, so now we're gonna work our two double cro crochet cluster stitch. So we're gonna chain two here. And then we're gonna be working two two double crochet 
um, work, work one, two double crochet cluster um, in every other stitch here um, with chain one stitches in between. So a two double crochet cluster is the same as double crochet two together or double crochet decrease, um, except you're working it together in the same stitch and you're not working it joining two stitches together. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop. So now there's three loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and just pull through two of those loops. And then I'm gonna yarn over again, insert my hook back into the same stitch, pull up a loop. There's now four loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two of those loops. And then I'm gonna yarn over again and pull through the last three loops on my hook. So there's my two double crochet cluster. It's kind of like you make two, you do half double or the double crochet, you work it halfway up and then you join the two together at the end here. And then we're gonna do a chain one. We're gonna skip the next stitch and then we're gonna do a two double crochet cluster in the next stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over, skip that next stitch, go into the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert my hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops. So there's the second one. Skip the next stitch. Complete the next two double crochet cluster here. And chain one. Skip the next stitch. So we're just gonna work, oops, two double crochet cluster stitches all the way around here, working a chain one in between each one, making sure that you skip a stitch in between each one. Okay, and that's gonna create that little that nice texture, um, as well as a little gap in between each of the cluster stitches right here. So you can see those guys. Uh, I'm gonna continue that all the way around and then I'll show you how to do the join at the end here. Okay, we're almost all the way around here. I just have one more two double crochet cluster stitch to go. So just this last one here. And then you need to make sure that you have one more stitch left here, if you did it correctly and you had an even stitch count. Um, when you're done, you'll have 27 uh, clusters if you are working with the same stitch count um, as we had. Um, basically, your number of clusters should be half of whatever your stitch count was. Um, and then we're gonna end with a chain one, because you always need a chain one after this two double crochet cluster in this pattern here. And then we're gonna join with a slip stitch to the top of the first two double crochet cluster. So that's this first one here, not the chain one. We're gonna go in the top of the, of the cluster here. So underneath both loops of that V, and we're gonna make a slip stitch to join. Um, now we're not gonna chain two here. Um, we're gonna be working our two double crochet cluster stitches in each of the spaces uh, between the clusters from this previous round here. So we're gonna do a slip stitch here um, into our first space here after this first cluster where the space is we're going to slip stitch over into that space there and then from here we're going to work our chain two and then we'll work our two double crochet cluster in this space so you're just going to work your hook into that big space there work your two double crochet cluster chain one and then you're going to work in the next cluster space here. So you're just gonna continue around, um, all the way around working your two double crochet cluster in each of the cluster spaces uh, from the previous round, making sure to chain one after each of the cluster stitches. So you can see the first few there. Okay, and you're just gonna continue all the way around like that, working in all of those um, spaces there. And I'll meet you back at the other end here. Okay, I'm now back around at the last two double crochet cluster stitch um, of the round here. So I'm just working in that space from the previous round. 
Now you'll end uh, with a chain one because you're always chaining one here after these clusters for this pattern. Now you're going to be joining the same way that we did the last round here and this is going to be what you're doing for each of the next rounds of two double crochet clusters. There'll be five rounds of uh, these clusters in total unless you're working on adding to the height of your cowl then you'll do more rounds of the two double crochet clusters. Um, so what we're going to do is Join with a slip stitch again to the top of the first two double crochet cluster. Pull that nice and tight. And then you're going to slip stitch over into the space, uh, the first cluster space here. And then you're going to chain two. And then you're going to work your two double crochet cluster again into the spaces from the previous round. So this is exactly the same as what we just did for the previous round here that we just finished and this is what we're going to do for each of the next rounds. So I'll complete the next uh, few rounds off camera here and then I'll meet you back uh, when those rounds are finished and then we can work on uh, finishing up the cowl with the single crochet stitches at the top and then uh, finishing it off. Okay, I finished all the way around the five rounds of the two double crochet cluster stitches here. Um, we have all five rounds, one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm just gonna join to the top of the first uh, cluster stitch here with a slip stitch. And then we're gonna chain one. And then we're just gonna work on our two rounds of single crochet stitches. So for this first one, we're gonna single crochet in the top of each of the stitches around so we'll do one single crochet in the top of the cluster stitch here and then we'll do one single crochet um, in the space here between the clusters so one in the top of the cluster and one in the uh, space and when you're done you should have 54 single crochet stitches so kind of the same stitch count that we started with so if you started with a different stitch count, yours will be the same as whatever you had for your first round there. And then we'll just keep going around all the way like that. One single crochet in the top of each of the cluster stitches and then one in the space in between. So I'll finish off that and then I'll meet you back at the end of this round. Okay, so we've now completed this round here of single crochet, and then we just have one more round of single crochet to go until we get to the end of this cowl pattern here. So I'm just gonna join the top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch here. And then this last round here is just making regular single crochet stitches in each single crochet stitch from the previous round here. And it should be if you worked with the same stitch count um, as the pattern when you're done, you should have 54 uh, single crochet stitches when you're finished. And then we'll join to a slip stitch at the end and then we'll be all finished. So I'll meet you back at the end of this round here and then we'll just be finishing up. Okay, so here's our last single crochet stitch of this cowl pattern here. And then we're going to join to the top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch and pull that through. Um, I've already cut my yarn here, but you would cut your yarn, pull it all the way through. And here you're all finished your, your cowl here. So I hope you enjoyed making this pattern here. Um, all that's left here now is using your yarn needle to weave in this end and to uh, sew together this uh, gap here at the bottom just by weaving in this end through the bottom of the first row of single crochet here um, to make that nice and tight there with your yarn needle. And then otherwise, your cowl is now finished. So I hope you liked making this crochet pattern here. Um, remember, you can find this pattern um, free on the blog, loopsandlovecrochet.com. And I'd love it if you subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow Loops and Love Crochet on Facebook and on Instagram. All right, thanks for watching.